Hi, today I'm going to show you how to add new property listings to your website. After you've logged into your website, you can click or hover over the property option and then click add new. Once you do that, it'll take you to the new listing. So the first thing you'll do is add the address for the property on this top line. I'll show you a completed property so you have a better example. Here we have the address. Now the information is displayed on the website differently depending on which page you're on. For example, when you look on the main property listing page, the first thing you see is true five bedroom home with lots of extras. But this is not the first thing on the actual listing. In fact, that particular portion is tucked down here under the heading section, whereas the address does not show at the top, it does show down here, but once you click on the listing to go to that individual listings page, you'll notice that information is now front and center at the very top of the page. After you have put in the address for the property in question, my recommendation would be to then add your pictures. You can do that by clicking on the Add Media button and selecting the pictures you'd like to add. You can select multiple pictures by first clicking one picture, holding down Shift, and then clicking the other pictures you want to select. Notice that all three selected pictures have this check. That means as soon as you hit the Insert into Post button, they'll be added to your listing. I recommend, if you want to center your pictures, to make sure they're all set to alignment none and probably want them somewhere around the medium size. Then simply hit insert into post. However, keep in mind you may want to double check and make sure that the settings are the same for all of the pictures. So you'll notice here this is still set for full size despite the fact that we just changed the other picture to medium. So keep that in mind and change them to the appropriate size before clicking insert into post. It may take a moment to add your pictures. Now here, because I already had it set up to center, we don't have to worry about it. But chances are when you do this, your pictures will actually be aligned to the left. So to avoid that, you want to have a space between your pictures and then click so your cursor is in between the one picture and the other. Then simply click this Align Center button and it'll line everything up nicely for you. If you have problems with that, just let us know. We can help. After you've taken care of the pictures, the next would be your long description of the property. And this can be as long as you want it to be, but you get diminishing returns if you get too wordy. So try to keep it concise. Also, I would recommend copying and pasting this section from an existing listing into any new listings you create. The only thing you'll have to do then is change the actual MLS number. So we'll work our way down the listing page. Up here we have the ability to publish or preview. Previewing allows you to see what the page will look like before you save the changes and make them live to the website. So as you can see here we have the extra pictures that we don't actually want but they are aligned into the center of the page. Here is our long description and these are the features that we are going to be filling out momentarily. So as we move down the page you can see from our template that not everything is filled out. But there are certain things you do want to fill out. The property address, you do want to display that and you will fill in this information, the street number, street name, suburb, in this case essentially means town or city, and then the rest of it. The coordinates you can or cannot include if you want to and if you don't want to deal with coordinates and you're not worried about the map you can simply hide the map. Pricing. Search price is if someone is using the search function and they just type in these numbers that's what it will match. Whereas the price text is where we have the additional dollar sign and the comma to make it a little bit more readable for human beings. You can also choose not to display the price, or, as in this case, display the price. Sale details, you can probably leave blank, but if you have are having a sale, you can put the price and the date, and you can choose to display it or not. If you want to kind of have that already set up but hidden, 
until you want it to display on the website. Linked contact, ignore this section. Featured image is important. You are going to see that on the main listings page as the only picture for that property. So pick a good exterior shot and that's where you would want to put it. You can remove this image or you can click on it to edit or change it. That takes care of the right side. Let's work back down the center. So after you have already added your pictures and your long description, scroll on down past the all-in-one SEO pack section to the excerpt. The excerpt is what you're going to see here. It's a short version of your longer description and you want to pack in the best features of the property mm -hmm. to really grab somebody's attention so that they click and then go to the individual listings page with all of the details. So you can just copy the first couple sentences from your long description. You can write something different. It's all up to you. Next is discussion. Ignore that. Leave it blank. Comments. Leave that alone. Author. When you create a listing, you will automatically become the author, so you shouldn't have to mess with this. Listing details. The heading is what we were talking about before that's going to display on this page right here. Whereas the excerpt is going to display underneath here. Moving along to the listing agent, you can probably leave this as it is, which is essentially blank except for Cross Creek Agent. You can hide the author box if you don't want this information to be displayed on the page, and you probably don't. So, listing type, the property status, current, withdrawn, off the market, or sold. You'll be in charge of figuring out which that should be. The authority, we have a number of various options as well. You actually know more about this than I do, so I'll leave it in your capable hands. House category, if you want to get more detailed than simply house, this allows you to do that. And then the unique ID is where you can enter the MLS number. Display details, if you click this, it'll make the property listing featured. And what that does is put it on the home page in this little special box we have here on the right, featured property. And you'll notice we have a couple featured properties that have been added here, so they are now displaying in this section. If you don't want them to display in the featured section anymore, you would simply uncheck this box. Now we're down to the home's features. You can put in how many bedrooms, how many bathrooms, if there's additional rooms, how many toilets, if you know, garage, carport, when it was built. Most of this is fairly self-explanatory. If you run into a section that isn't, please let us know and we will explain it. So land area. This one can be a little confusing. It depends on the unit. So if you're talking about square feet or meters, these are the options you would use. But if you're using acres, then you would want to select that option and then in the land area box, put how many acres it is. Additional features are broken up into internal, external, and heating and cooling. So essentially you will just go down these options and check any that are appropriate for the listing. The section down here, if you had a video on YouTube or some other website, you could put that URL here. If you have files for things like floor plans or an external link where that property is featured on a different website, this would be the place to put that information. And that is essentially it. Once you have all of this information input properly, then you're going to scroll back up to the top. And before you hit publish or update, I recommend you hit preview changes. This will show you once again what the listing is going to look like before it's published live to the site. So as long as you have all the information in the proper place and everything looks right, then you can go ahead and go back to your listing and hit update. And that's it. If you have any other questions or need help, please let us know. And otherwise, have a great day. Thanks. Bye.